Well, good rainy Sunday morning, if you can call a rainy Sunday morning good. If this is your first time to this channel, my name is Jason, and this is Old Car Auto Guy. Now, because it's raining, it's probably not the best day to go looking for a new project car, but that's what we're doing today. If you saw my previous upload, you'll know what the car is today. We're gonna take it to the shop, check it all over, and see if we can put a deal together. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we are inside of the 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis. And uh, from what I see so far, just from jumping inside the car, it's fairly clean. It's got light tan interior and uh, it's not all stained up. And one of the things that my wife had mentioned to me when I go to look at this car, she wanted to make sure it wasn't like an old man or a really old lady's car. And she says, if it's got that pissy smell, don't buy it. <laughs> and if you're in the car business, you know exactly what smell I'm talking about. Pee myself a little on the way down. But this one does not. It smells clean. As you can see, it's got one tire in the back on an aluminum rim, mind you and the other three are in the trunk. So let's get this thing to the shop. We'll get it up in the air and we will check it out. So as we're driving away from uh, this lady's house, the very first thing I notice is a little bit of an exhaust tick, which is coming from what seems like the manifold maybe. So I know that on the Ford trucks, these exhaust manifolds can be quite a job to fix, but I also know that some of the 4.6s had issues where they would blow spark plugs. So we're gonna take a look at this one and see if that's the case, or maybe it is just the manifold. Either way, it may work in our favor as far as negotiating power. But this thing drives like a dream, I'm telling you right now. I love these old boats. We're gonna get it up on the, uh, on the highway here and uh, get it up to uh, highway speeds, make sure there's no shakes or rattles or shimmies and, and uh, Make sure we don't hydroplane at the same time. Anyways, be back with you in a minute. So at highway speeds, this thing drives like a dream. I'm able to hold the steering wheel with my pinky finger and literally no shaking coming out of it at all. Um, I did notice I tried the cruise control. The cruise control does not work. At least I can't seem to get it to work. But minor things that really don't bother me that bad. But when you're buying a used car, one thing you'll want to do is take a pen and paper because if you start making a list of all the little things then that can be one big thing to work in your favor as negotiating now when you come to our car lot one of the things that we try and do is we try and make sure all those little things aren't big things so if you're buying a private sale it's a little bit of a different story because when i buy this that's it there's no warranty. She's not going to stand behind it for 30 days. There's nothing. So we want to make sure that we know everything that we can about this car in the short time that we have it. So here she is in all her glory. As I mentioned previously, it is a 2004 Grand Marquis. And uh, as we pop the hood, we start taking a look around this vehicle. One of the things that I want to encourage you not to do is when you go to look at a car on the side of the road or at a dealer's lot or anywhere like that, is generally you wouldn't want to go look at that car in the rain because you can't see scratches and you can't see dents or dings or this or that on a vehicle in the rain because the rain hides a lot. However, as you guys know from my previous video, we did check this out on a day that it wasn't raining on the outside. So we've kind of gotten past that already. So let's jump in and see what we're up against on this car. So when I pop the hood, one of the things that I already notice is it's very, very well undercoated all the way around. Up in along the brake booster and the firewall, it's quite, uh, quite greasy in there. Looks like a new alternator at some point in time fairly new battery from Costco and I did check the oil and the oil is crystal clear and according to the oil change sticker on the windshield it looks like it was just done not too long ago so as I was coming into the garage one thing that I noticed because things were a little bit quiet was the wipers 
somewhere in the wiper cowl and the transmission there, there was a little bit of a squeaking noise going on. I don't know if it's anything serious or not. Um, we do look down here at the exhaust manifolds. And you can see that they are quite rusty, or at least this one is. I got a hole in my car's muffler and I need something to plug it with. And we come over here and you can't see it that well on camera, but it's quite rusty too. But overall, everything looks to be just the way it should. Now, when we got out of the highway, it picked up speed very well, went through all the gears. Uh, so we don't have any issues with any gears there. Uh, so we're gonna get this thing up in the air and check underneath, make sure it's not all rusted to pieces, which by the looks of the undercoating, I don't think it's gonna be. Now, one of the hard parts about getting underneath of a vehicle to look for things is A, you gotta know what you're looking for, but B, I just drove this thing about 18, well, maybe 15 miles uh, in the rain. So everything underneath is wet. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, find any leaks. But there's your engine oil pan. And uh, doesn't seem to be any leaks there. Your transmission pan seems to be quite dry. You come up front and uh, there's no Prestone leaking out anywhere. All your hoses look good. Some band clamps look a little rusty, but that's normal for a car of this age. Front brakes don't look like they're brand new, but they feel good. There's no pulsating there. Frame is in really good shape. We come back here to the, uh, to the rear bumper. You can see that that's all well undercoated. Trunk pan, as deep as it is, is uh, all greased up. Rear diff cover, there's no leaks there. That's just all undercoating. Rear frame up in there, everything looks good. This is what undercoating does for you folks. It prolongs the rot of your car. And we live in Southern New Brunswick where this is, things get pretty rusty. Where normally the whole car would be dry like the bottom of this differential. But this one here, I am totally, totally surprised look up inside the uh, rocker panels or rocker panels are just as good as new I think this is a good one guys and so there's your flange right there where we get rid of this little Y pipe we come right out of the cats and we go right straight back with dual exhaust so there's nothing that really surprises me about this car I guess at this point there's a couple little things on the paint that I was aware of when I looked at it the other day um, couple of small things that we will make a list on and like I said the noise in the wiper transmission the exhaust manifold the cruise isn't working uh, but other than that I really don't see anything to worry about and uh, I think we're gonna see if we can get this car bought now I know some of you are gonna be asking well Jason why don't you just go to the auction and see if you can find a car like this that might be newer that you could pick up for probably the same price and my answer to that is simply this this car is here, and I was able to do what I just did with it, get it up in the air, check it all over, drive it, feel it, smell it, touch it. Uh, at the auction, you don't get to do that. And on an older car, you wanna take every precaution necessary. I mean, we're, we're, we're basically 15 years old on this car, and it's every bit as, in as good a shape as something that's five years old. So, uh, but we know that now because we got it into the shop here and we got it up in the air. So that's why I have no problem buying a private sale as long as I have the opportunity to do just this. So keep that in mind that uh, yes, I have access to thousands of vehicles every week and go to the auction and, and pick things apart. But if I was looking for one of these uh, Grand Marquis or Crown Victorias, um, you know, unless you get to drive them, sit in them, smell them, and you know, check all the gears and stuff like that, you don't know what you're getting. And uh, this way here, I feel comfortable enough to make an offer on this car. And there we go guys, after a little bit of tough negotiating, we've got the car bought. I didn't get the deal I wanted, but the car truly is worth every dollar that I paid for it. Now, we get the four wheels and rims that have summer tires on them. Those tires are decent. The winters are good. We've got a little bit of TLC to touch up on it, but we're gonna have ourselves a lot of fun. If you guys wanna see some cost effective, some budget minded, um, mods done to this car then leave your comments uh, down in the comment section below and tell me what you'd like to see me start with well folks i am super excited about this next project on the channel so excited 
I've always wanted one of these cars. Now I've got one. And uh, even though my buddy Ross is making fun of me for driving an old man's car. Someone have said about turning 40. We need a name for this Grand Marquis, this old man's car. You guys can leave your comments down in the comment section below again and tell me what you think we should be calling this project. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. Like, I just, my idea, I think, of this car is basically a sleeper. When you see the car coming, you're not going to know. We're going to do a few budget-minded mods that you guys are going to help me out with. And we're going to make it something that no one is going to suspect that it works as well as it does. So, uh, you know, we're going to be sharing more about this project in future videos. For now, this is all she wrote. Now, I've got to go find someone to help me go get the car and get it back home because we've got two vehicles down at the campground now, so I've got to get one of them back home and then uh, be able to come back and grab the other one. So I'm going to grab a friend. We're going to go pick the car up. That will conclude this video of the new Panther Platform Project. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget this video is sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil. I'm going to leave their link right here. And if you use the promo code GloveBox, you can get your very own travel size beard oil with the purchase of any regular size just by using that promo code at the checkout. Guys, still looking for license plates? I could use your help collecting those license plates for Project Wall Art and you can send those right to my addresses in the description box below. There's five other links down there that you guys can check out that will help me on this channel rather than you just watching the videos. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon. Top of top.